we are live and back for episode 39. The crew has had their initial time in port and gotten up to all sorts of mischief and mayhem already. Everything from very lavish meals to finding uh, unexpected people and even an unexpected uh, new addition that at some point will be introduced to the rest of you. We last left the crew splitting up to do different tasks. Haldir had walked off into the markets to make arrangements to sell various produce. Uh, Mug was running back towards the dock district looking for the nearest group of Shayak in which to find out if they'd set up a fight pit in the area and if not just punch them on behalf of Hathard. Wisp was following frantically trying to work out how to stop the dwarf <laughs> and Silas and Bajiri were walking back to initially go to a meeting with the Hathard general who was in port on the frigate. So the streets through the marketplace are a lot quieter than you'd expect even at this time of night. The soldiers are still on patrol. The gates between this district and the port district are wide open. There is at least six guards standing around between and just checking people as they go in and out. Mug, can I get you to roll a perception check? Oh, as you run nice. into the district. Yeah, and I'm just looking for Shayak, aren't I? Let's see. Uh, why was I not prepared for this? <laughs> just counting down my dice. Okay. It's a triple one. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a total of four. Noted. <laughs> Good job, Mug. Good job. <laughs> so, Mug. So, so, so that, yeah, okay. Yeah. You find yourself in a <coughs> crowd of people who start okay. blocking your view as you frantically st keep looking for the nearest Shayak, you actually don't see yeah. anyone. There's just a large crowd of elves and halflings. Yeah, I, I just start pushing them out of the way. Like, oh, I want to find the Shayak. They're all standing in the way, shouts Mug, and, and he's getting frustrated and he's pushing, yeah. pushing these people out of the way. As you push, some of them start pushing back and they're... Oh. You, at this point, realise that they're extremely angry and shouting. Um, Wisp... Yeah, can... Mugi's shouting about the Shayak. <laughs> oh boy. Wisp, can you roll a perception check as you roll in? <laughs> Fourteen. Right. Um, so you spill out into the district, and with that roll, there's two things you easily see. First, there is a very angry mob. <laughs> um, they are shouting um, about slavers and not in our port and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> in the center of said angry mob is Mug. Oh. Or 
also <laughs> shouting about slavers and Shyak. <laughs> Oh Mug my Muggy shouting. Let me, let me punch the Shayak. Let me through. Let me punch the Shayak. That's what Muggy's shouting. Uh, right. Um, oh, hold on. The nearest halfling to you, Mug, starts cheering this, and there's slowly a chant that ripples out of punch the Shayak, punch the Shayak. <laughs> <laughs> punch the shy yak, punch the shy yak. Who sounds like man? Um, and a path sort of opens up between you and Mug and the front of the crowd, and you see that there is a bunch yeah. of shyak right <laughs> down this tunnel of uh, angry people. Um, yeah, Mug is charging at them. <laughs> noted. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> so, um, Bajiri and uh, Silas will rock up at this point. Silas, you have. You don't even need to really look for anything in particular because you can now clearly see a uh, mug running down this like victory tunnel of people <laughs> at a group of Shyak sailors that seem to be uh, guarding the entryway to their ships there is a reasonable number of them and they look like they are armed um there is also a massive crowd of people around Mug cheering about get, throwing the Shyak out and punching the Shyak. It looks like a riot is just about to kick off. Not sure. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how dear? Mug is not charging with a I'm... weapon, just with his fist so far. Yep. I'm gonna stand and watch, probably. Noted. <laughs> um, Haldir, as the crowd's chanting gets louder, you can actually even hear it in the market district. <laughs> Haldir's just finished all the last of the di directions for for the sales, and it's just listening. I'm like, oh no. I'm sure I'll, f I'll find... Wait, was Mark going for the Shyaks? Oh boy, and then he starts walking towards the, <laughs> the harbor. Right here. Um, so Mug, you're just thundering down this avenue that people have made for you. There's like a couple that sort of slap you on the back as you go through and cheers. <laughs> oh boy. Building up speed. <laughs> Uh, well, Muggy's charging up his magic fists. <laughs> <laughs> Wisp, uh, is there anything you in particular do? Pray. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can literally physically stop them. So the kind of best is that nothing bad happens and he'll never get inside. <laughs> Alright, so Wisp is panicking and trying to work out what to do. So, Mug, you're going to thunder out oh, of... I think we just lost Mug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and looks like we got Mug back. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So, I just had to... Where at this stage, on? Haldi, you're going to come in and to the district. You will clearly see Silas and Bajiri sort of standing off to the side. Um... Wisp is standing a bit closer to the crowd, but there is a massive crowd, easily 100, maybe 150 people. Um, and Mug is just bursting clear of it and running at some Shyak. Oh, no. I'm going to uh, just stand and wave. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't think any of us can do anything to stop it. 
So, is Monk, that, like, you can guards see the at all? Um, <laughs> you look around and you see that the guards at the gate that you've come through are sort of nervously looking at the crowd and gathering <laughs> up as many of them as they can, but there's only at least six or seven at the gate you've come through. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> the other gate is barred, but there is like frantic movement going on um how do you, you would recognize at least that uh it looks like they're sending people to get reinforcements oh no mm -hmm. oh it will be too late by the time one gets to them right <laughs> yep uh mug can you roll a yeah. punch so, oh yeah, yeah. So it's a charging punch. So there's a yep. plus one for yeah. The one of the Shyak sailors sort of steps forward, like shouting at you <laughs> and telling you to go back to town, <laughs> get out of the way. <laughs> he has uh... his hand on a weapon, but he hasn't drawn it. Yeah, I I think Mug Mug is too charged up to to stop, but uh, I think this is not a great roll. Well, I mean it's not a bad roll, but it's not a great roll either. That's I right. Don't know we'll if see. It will be enough. Uh, yeah, and just just for punching, so that's that's just accuracy. It is just accuracy. Do. Yep. Yeah. So if I charge, I I can't aim. No, yeah, I can only charge. Yeah, you can so that's only, one. only charge, but. You do get. Wait, can I can I can I do a reckless? Well, it, it, no, it, it might it, it might be enough. Okay, let, let, let's try it. Yeah. Let me just double check quickly. It, it's not it's not too bad, and I have a stunt point as well. So, so charge is a major action. You can actually aim on the charge. Ah, oh. okay. Then I'm also aiming. Because that will make it slightly better. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, you, you can only charge if you. Yeah, if, if you, if you can space. actually move. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. I think this is thirteen. So let's let's hope to hell it connects. That is a hit. Yes. <laughs> and I, I get a stun point, but I'm not sure I can do much with just a single stun point. Uh, for a sec oops, that's the one thing I didn't open. Is a stunt table? Yeah, I, I, I will look at a stunt table as well. I mean, even then, I still have my fists. Uh, you can either skirmish or you can yeah. uh use stay away uh stay aware, which gives you a plus one to any test. Uh, on the next test you'll make. But the test is not attack. Uh, a test is not an attack, no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, skirmish is good enough. Yep. That's fine. Because I, I can actually push it out, push them out of the way. Yep. So you throw a really hard punch and knock this guy basically two meters. Uh, did you want to knock him oh, back wait. or sideways? Uh, how, how is the layout? So they basically were standing side by side um, along yeah. the entranceway to the uh, dock that their ships, two ships are tied up on. Uh, yeah. There is a small building immediately to their left. There's, they weren't standing perfectly side by side, but there was about seven or eight of them, and this one has stepped forward to interfere with you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to push them into the other ones? Yep. So you push him... So, ba basically, oh yeah, and that's... your punch will knock him backwards. He'll stagger backwards and the guy behind him will actually catch him. Um, yeah, so this is eight, eight points of magic damage. <laughs> yep. Because I, I think Mog's fist is now magical, isn't it? Uh, not quite yet. There is something that will happen that will eventually... Oh! Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, yeah. So it's just eight points of damage. Just eight points, but... which is still pretty good. 
yeah. Yeah, and, and Mog Mog is shouting, yeah. T take that present from the orcs. <laughs> he did remember. Can you, just, you know. roll a communication roll? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Good luck on that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. No, okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's not that good. It's not that good, but at the same time, I have stun points, so I can do role-playing stunts, yep. which is actually really nice. <laughs> I, I don't have any, any extras on it. The, the question is if it's enough or not, because it's only... I think it's 11, isn't it? That is enough. You yeah. are the center of attention right now. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, if I do a role-playing stunt, then, because I, I get three stunt points, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. So you can do a lot with three stunt points. Um, well, I mean, stun silence, for example. <laughs> but, I mean, that, that would probably it's the situation but i could just sway the crowd uh yep i can definitely work with that one yeah okay yeah so sway the crowd and well to be honest uh, what i will say yeah. is if you do sway the crowd and bon yeah. mart yeah yeah yes the crowd have seen you firstly punch <laughs> this um sailor and then they've heard you literally shout that the punch is on behalf of the orcs <laughs> they're not <Yes>. dumb <laughs> there is a massive cheer that erupts from the crowd and then tons of them start pouring forward with everything that they've got at hand and they just swarm in on the remaining shark yeah. You are now in the middle of a riot. Yes, mom started a riot. <laughs> we didn't start the flame war. Is this the second one you started? So, um... This didn't take very long. <laughs> oh so from the rest of your view, you basically see the crowd surge forward and these... Uh, Shyak guards are very quickly overrun. Uh, people are beating at them with, like, basically torn off bits of timber or rocks. They're throwing stuff at them. You see, like, even, like, raw produce getting thrown at them. Um, <laughs> those that aren't knocked out uh, literally flee back towards their ships. Oh boy. Hal Haldir rushes over to Wisp. <clears throat> Wisp, we gotta get Mug out of there. The guards are cu <laughs> The guards are getting more reinforcements, and with this riot going on, he's gonna end up in jail again. And we know what happened last time he went to jail. Oh god. He keeps starting ri riots. Like, he's literally just started a riot. <laughs> again. Do you want me to knock him out? <laughs> and then you can help the dragon? Because that's what oh, all I have. You know what? That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Uh. <laughs> Until you realize you have to actually carry him. We'll get to that yeah. bridge and we cross it. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay, Wisp, how do I help you? Oh, um, <laughs> punch. <laughs> well, punch mug. Good luck. If someone waking up to sit still for two seconds, I can get that uh, sleeping draft down his throat. <laughs> the entire bottle. And Volt's finding them first, though. <laughs> How strong are you? <laughs> I mean, I can lift a bit. Okay. <laughs> if I manage to tie him up, would you be able to hold him for at least three seconds? Uh... <laughs> I'll try. Oh, that's the only thing we've got at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to assume oh we haven't spotted uh, oh. Edric just chilling at the side. Um, Silas, have you made any attempts to hide yourself? <coughs> no, but I also haven't made any attempts to make my presence known. Yep. Uh, I'll get you to roll a perception check. Uh, 
wish to see Silas, considering that there's now a massive crowd. Uh, <laughs> you will also start to hear bells start to ring. Nah. Oh, no. <laughs> um, let me just double check my document. Yeah, I'd say you don't actually manage to see um, Silas. Oh, good oaks, because otherwise he was getting an arrow shot in his direction. Yeah, just <laughs> just due to the complete confusion of, and um, like, there are people like fleeing the scene once the bells start to ring. Do, do I notice them? Uh, the people fleeing. No, the, the crew. Um, from where they'll be standing, yes, you'll be able to see them. I'm gonna, you know, look at them for a little bit, see what they are doing, realize that they have a plan, or at least that it looks like they're doing something that looks like planning. Uh, I wouldn't know what that looks like. Right? <laughs> uh, and plan, then, yeah. And then, you know, step away. <laughs> the guards are coming. I can't get caught up in this political shit. <laughs> I have political shit to get caught up in. Noted. Wisp okay. is pulling her hood on. I'm gonna suggest Halder to cover up too. Oh yeah, as, as soon as Wisp starts that, like, oh yeah, right, shit, <laughs> covers up. And Wisp is gonna run away from the scene, like, or at least escape the scene, yep. and make sure that he's seen somewhere else during this ride. So mm. he's gonna be in the market and just, you know, start making, like, try making big deals, that kind of stuff. Yep, so Silas, you slip back into the markets. Uh, Bajiri decides that it's a good time to go and get a pint somewhere else. <laughs> mm -hmm. He goes looking for a pot of tea somewhere. <laughs> do I know where Bajiri is going? Like, do I know the, the, the tavern he's going to or something? Um, like he will indicate which one he's going. Basically, he'll indicate he's going back to the tavern that you were in. Uh, okay. See if they do tea. I'm going to say I'll see you in a bit then. Reserve me a cup. He'll nod at that. Wisp, I can make sure Mug can hear us. What do I say for him to get over to us? The element here. of surprise is better, personally, like. <laughs> but then we have to be in the middle of the riot. Do you also think he's gonna leave the riot? <laughs> it's worth a shot! <laughs> You don't know Mug then! <laughs> <laughs> so, Mug, are you gonna stay in the riot or are you gonna. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> so, can I get a well, strength. Well, Mug, is lead... yeah. Yeah. Mug is leading the riot right now. <laughs> yep. So, roll a strength might. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I get six, six stun points on this. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Is this role playing stunt points again? Or? Um, you or know what? What sort of stunt point is this? I will say you are allowed role playing stunt points for this. <laughs> I'm not sure what I can do with six stunt points for it, but okay. Um, so basically, what I'm going to say with this might roll is that you've literally grabbed one of the knocked over uh, Shyax and you've lifted him over your oh head. Oh boy. <laughs> That's what you were doing because this is this is a frigging twenty. Yep. So yeah, like like a complete rag doll, he has no ability to deal with anything that you're doing to him. So you've just lifted him over the top of your head, um, and basically started running towards the ships and his companions in plain sight of everyone once again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Wisp. I, I don't need a combat stunt for this. <laughs> oh, I, no. This is just role playing. <laughs> yeah. Wisp, new plan. Uh -huh. we'll, we'll run in I there. It... When yeah. I yell, everyone look at me, you look away from me. And hopefully I'll be able to give you a moment to chuck that down Mug's throat. Okay? No offense, but I think people are pretty preoccupied. I know, the but they're all going to hear me, and there's going to be a big flash. Let's see if it works. Okay. <laughs> I'm going 
gonna have to grab his nose then if I'm wanting to do that. Hold on, I'll get the thing out so I don't need the rope anymore, so I can go back. <laughs> um, okay, give me a second. <laughs> Haldir is gonna cast uh, voices under wind. Yep. So he's gonna try and make sure that everyone will be able to hear him. Um. Yeah, I, I wonder if I should do Tower of Wind Will or something. You could do Tower of Will, you could use Enrage with six. Yeah. Oh, yeah, boy. I, I yeah. <laughs> Enrage Tower, yeah. I mean, a slap or the throwing of the gauntlet may stand in as an attack just as well, in which case it's throwing the sailor at them. <laughs> do you want to do a Enrage and a Bon Mot? Because I've got to just... Yes. I, okay. <laughs> so. As you start casting your spell, uh, Haldir, you see Mud come pumping out of the crowd again, this time with a sailor literally held over his head. A shayak. And he then literally using the sailor like a club... Slaps another one clean across the face. God damn it. <laughs> Using his feet to just. The best way to describe it would be as if you tried to whip someone across the face with a glove, except it was a human instead. <laughs> oh. Right. <clears throat> okay. Um. And Mug would, uh, I'd say with the Bon Mot, would you literally challenge anyone to on the side, uh, Shyak side to uh, try if they're hard enough? Oh, we... oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See if you're tough enough to take me on. Noted. Um, oh, ha Haldir is going to try and rush in through the riot to stand basically in front of Mug. Yep. I'm going to try and get behind him. I'd say that at this stage it's pretty easy to do is like some of the rioters are now like standing and cheering um, and others are too busy in their like one-on-one -on -one brawls with whichever Shyx actually hasn't made it back to their ship yet. Great. Um, as soon as Haldir gets there, he's just gonna yell out, like, Look out, there's a bomb. And then I'm gonna there's cast a, a bomb. And yep. then I'm gonna cast Lightning Flash. Noted. So, you Roll invoke that. a knock of lightning that flashes between your ha hands with a blinding brightness. And I'm making sure Mug can see this. Yep. When he does that, I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I I succeed in my my target number. Um, so basically, so... your spell's gonna go off. There's gonna be a blinding flash of light that will yeah. trigger. I believe they you, will need you can saves. do a dex acrobatics save. Right. Um... So mug, can you roll that? And from memory, you've got resistance, so you get to add plus two. The target number for you would be 16. Oh, that's my spell power. All right, so the crowd failed. Oh, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> so did the Shyak. Um... <laughs> oh. well, that's... So while Mug's doing math... Um, the crowd screams and staggers and, uh, clutches at eyes, um, a... Hello. Uh, so it's an acrobatics roll, right? Yep. Yes. So dexterity, acrobatics, and you get yeah, to add dexterity. your magic resistance from memory. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um... So that's going to be... Yeah. I'll just wait for yours and then I'll continue describing what's going on because there's a few <laughs> things that's going to happen at once. 
<laughs> That's 15. Then you will be blinded. Right. So, Mug, this bright okay. light goes off, uh, and you can't see anymore. The last thing you've heard was uh, Haldir's voice shouting that there's a bomb. Yeah, Mug doesn't actually know what a bomb is. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mug is like, D -d 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 I won't fall to your, your weak attacks, he's shouting, <laughs> um, and flailing around, trying the, to punch people. Yep, the crowd uh is screaming some of them are panicked and is trying to stumble away uh they have no idea where they're going uh you hear shouts and screams from up on the shyak ships and then you hear a cannon go off oh, oh. <laughs> Catch. okay how dear the cannonball sails over the top of you and into the crowd <laughs> Oh boy! Oh. <laughs> oh fucking boy! God damn it! You're gonna get me bitch slapped. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting you bitch slapped. Yes, you are the people starting war. That was my job. <laughs> I was gonna do it in a not getting me bitch slapped. <laughs> This is all on you, Silas. No, it's not. It's on Mug. <laughs> so, you um, never told us to go do it, sir. Whisper, you gotta try and ram something down Mug's throat. Yep, the entire <laughs> ball if I can, the sleeping draft. Can you do a dodge <laughs> uh, acrobatics to get close enough since Mug is flailing? Oh boy. <laughs> get slapped. <laughs> How do you spot aesthetic? So, Wisp, yes, you will manage to duck under um, Mug swings, and you mm. can tip the contents down his throat while he's shouting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. Nice>. <laughs> <laughs> That's 24 Dorsey's worth. <laughs> yes, yes, sorry. English. <laughs> what? Are you trying to point at him? No, just to make sure that, like, Wisp knows that, like, you've taken so many of those things and nothing's happened. She's not taking the rest, okay? <laughs> I'm so, pretty sure you're trying to poison him. <laughs> Mug, roll a constitution. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Oh. It's, it's 24 doses. Does it, does it even matter what I roll? Um, let's just say that if there was a particular roll that came up, uh, or a certain level you got to then potentially <laughs> that okay. there would be is it literally 24 doses you've given him yeah because i asked you like how many doses was it per bottle and you said 24 and it's one hour per dose so yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> okay Mug is gonna be uh, yeah. dead is it, is, it, is it just my constitution or no stamina isn't it uh constitution and add your um drinking uh, oh it's drinking i mean yeah i have both stamina and drinking so that's fine yeah so that's 22 right here <laughs> <laughs> wow oh. <laughs> And with six good, good thing you used all those uh, all those charges. So, what's going to happen with that roll? The potion is going to still take effect, but it's going to take a good solid ten minutes for it to actually kick in. <laughs> so, for the next ten minutes. Mug is flailing around, blinded, before he eventually dozes and drops. <laughs> By this point, there are soldiers pouring in. Oh, uh, God. <laughs> there, there is still a crowd of, like, confused and blinded, like, uh, rioters, and the soldiers have gone for them first. Um, so, Wisp and Haldir, you now have a unconscious dwarf at your feet. <laughs> 
and it took 10 minutes to knock him out and now he's loudly <laughs> snoring <laughs> he is snoring loudly and yeah. there are soldiers everywhere uh heldy you do spot that some of them are dragon riders oh right um i'm i'm just gonna try and get him up so i'll like half carry him yeah mm -hmm. and just look at wisp like come on help me i'm trying <laughs> So, oh. how can someone so small be so heavy? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I mean, is Mug even a regular dwarf? You feel like he's made of stone. Can from the both of you? Can I get a strength might roll? Oh boy! Oh boy! Good luck. Just to work out how quickly you managed to drag Monk back to your ship. Uh, or wherever you want to get him to lay low. <laughs> I was going to suggest the ocean for a minute, but I thought he might actually drown. <laughs> well, for, first of all, out of the riot area, and then to the ship. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right here. So that's a 10 and 12. It's a, okay. it's a bit of a struggle. You have to, like, sort of try to make sure you're putting rioters between you and soldiers. Um, you eventually get back to your ship, and it seems like the uh, guard have uh, prioritized dealing with the Shyak and their own citizens, and seeing as you were literally leaving the scene... Um, with what looked like an unconscious person, they didn't really intervene. Mm. <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! This is a good plan. <laughs> oh boy. So I'll let you pick where you want to go with an unconscious mug. Uh, <laughs> back to the ship. I mean, is it safe there? Isn't it the best place to put him? What, like the jail cell? <laughs> uh, let's just pu put him... If we put him down in the med bay, we can say he got hit by a cannonball in the face. And that's why he got knocked out. Ooh, perfect! <laughs> All the don't involve me getting hit. Come on, let's get... <laughs> <laughs> Why is this man so heavy? I don't know. Maybe we should try and put him on a diet. <laughs> Do you really want to get punched that badly? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We off his exercise routine. Silas, can I get a perception check out of you, by the way? Out of me? Yep. Because you're in the market okay. district. Four, 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 plus numbers equals higher number. I believe my perception is, yeah, plus four, plus two is 12, 16, 18 total. If I can add seeing, that is. Uh, nope, this one's hearing. Okay, in that case, only 16. That's still reasonable. Um, so you're wandering in the district, uh, market district, to try and lay low. You've been speaking to people and wandering from uh, shop I've, or I've, stall to store. I've not necessarily been laying low. I've been specifically getting an alibi. Mm -hmm. But yes. So, in between two of the stalls that you've walked from as you've been making sure to speak to as many people as possible, uh, you hear, firstly, the cannon shot over in the um, docks district. He's and going to look a little sad at that because he's missing the cannon fight. <laughs> the market district goes a bit quiet as people sort of all heads turn and look in the general direction of the docks at hearing cannon fire. And in that moment, you hear a scream. 
Ooh, do I know that screen? Nope. Just a random screen. Just a random one, and it's right in the district with you. Okay, as far as you can that. tell, it's up behind some of the shops and warehouses. I'm going to see what the commotion is all about. Sure thing. I'm going to try and find uh, who screamed. So you walk sort of up an alleyway behind a shop um, into an area where you see uh, storehouses and what looks like to be storage and, uh, rooms or just even like half uh, sheds with open walls. There's no one that you can see around in the general vicinity. Yeah. But you do see footprints in um, mud tracked up down another alley. And they only go in. You don't see any coming back out. Okay, I'm going to peek around the corner. All right. Uh, peeking around the corner, you see blood. A uh... pool of it. You don't see a body. Uh, I'm going to slowly back away. Yep. <laughs> I can't afford to get caught up in this shit. <laughs> no. Uh, he will take a look, like see if he can see whoever has done this. You don't see anyone down the alley. Likewise, you see enough blood that there should be a body, but there is no body. I see enough blood. That's a reason on its own. Yep. Silas is going to slowly, you know, back off. Go and see if he can find a girl. Yep. And I can say that you don't specifically keep the blood in your view, so you don't need to make a roll on that. Silas is aware of what it looks like and can kind of look around. And the more noticeable thing is that there is nobody in the alley. So you make your way back out of into the main shopping area. Yes. You notice that the shopkeeps are now starting to pack themselves down. And that there is a larger number of guards walking around in this particular district. I'd like to find a guard. Yep. Guard, guard, um, something horrible has happened. In this alley, I found, uh, I heard a scream, and when I went to investigate, I found uh, a lot of blood. And I decided that, you know, this is above my pay grade, and maybe I should go fetch the people who are professionals. Uh, can you roll a communication? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> it's, it's like you're <laughs> replying to the guard. Can I, can I add etiquette? You can indeed. You see that the guard that you've accosted sort of sags and sighs and goes, Oh, not again. Just what we need today. What's wrong? He looks back towards the district, uh, the Pot Docks district, and then looks sort of in the direction that you were pointing and says, well, apart from the riot that just kicked off down in the docks, there's been people going missing, at least for the last two, three weeks, and, you know, that's what set that frickin' lot off. They've been thinking it's the slavers. Silas is going to look real thoughtful for a second. And then he goes, well, I do have experience with them doing that. The guard nods and goes, so does everyone. But when was the last time you saw slavers leaving that much blood lying around? That is a valid point. They usually try to keep it inside their produce. 
Let me go and have a look. I'll gather up some of the others. Thank you for your service, citizen. And then he <laughs> starts to walk away. You're very welcome. Bye. And I give him a friendly wave. <laughs> Bye. Bit me just took a big bite out or something. <laughs> 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 so very quickly you see that the guard has gathered a couple of others and they go wandering off down those alleys uh, do you stay in the markets or do you start to make your way to investigate the, I'm uh, going to slowly make my way to, to investigate uh, the docks or the alleys <laughs> the alleys now that there's guards there that I can yep. you know, watch from a distance so you follow your way down the alleys um, after them and you see them start to fan out. They knock on a couple of doors uh, trying to find if anyone's in the general vicinity to ask questions of. They search for any footprints or anything. Do they um, find any footprints? They, they find the same ones you saw um, but obviously after that fact fact of going and following them they very quickly seem to lose any trace of where both the assailants and the body has gone doesn't take you too long to notice that they don't really seem to be uh searching all that hard down the different uh alleys and um ways out of this area um and they quickly give up and saying it's just another one couldn't be a beast or something, could it? And they start to walk off. Does the, you know, amount of blood and that kind of stuff remind me of stuff that I've seen on, for example, the ship that uh, Vudrians were using? Basically, the amount you see there is if someone has basically been ripped apart. Oh, wow. But you would normally expect to see a body there. They just dragged yeah, the body away. That's that's the issue I'm having. There's no body there. Yeah. You get the. Or, or someone ate it. You yeah, get that, a that, very that... distinct feeling that there, this seems to be a repeat pattern based on the way the guards were wor uh, working. That this has happened more than once. Okay, I'm gonna you know launch a little bit of an investigation. No problem. Uh, can I get you to then roll a perception roll, but you can add seeing and use roll play stunts. Definitely. Um, give me a second. Yep, no, that's no problem. Uh, Ooh. In the meantime, while that's going on, Haldir and Wisp, you've taken Mug below decks and shoved him on a medical bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were quite kind to actually get him on the bed. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you do once you've boarded the ship? I mean, are we just leaving him there, or do you want me to attempt to wake him up, or what's the plan here, Haldir? <laughs> uh... <laughs> I guess we can try and wake him up. Is the ride still going on, though? How do you, like, tries to listen? Uh, from what you can tell, that the riot is very well and truly over. Oh, it's everyone, over. Everyone who rioted is dead. Right. Oh. So, so, so I guess we can wait, wake him up again. Okay. Uh, I don't think I have anything strong enough for a dose that size. Hmm. I, I, I don't think my magics can purify. What, what about electric what you gave shock? You, think? you guys did this. You fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what I'll say, Wisp, roll a medicine. So intelligence medicine. Uh, <laughs> let's I mean, I like the idea of him getting electrified. Um, I'm getting my roleplay stunts, so I have six points for it. Yep. <laughs> um, 
Wait, would I be able to use stuff like the object of my uh, attention, uh, the explanation stuff? Uh, yes, you can. In that case, which ones like would you recommend that are useful? Uh, I'd say an ef do, 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 an efficient search. Uh, sorry, no, speedy search. Yes. Um, you were going to use the object of your attention. I'm tempted to do object of advent uh, attention. Yep. And then I'd have one more, which would probably be some uh, either bon mot or advantageous positioning. Uh, how many points do you have? Four. Six. Six. Uh, so if you're using uh, the object of your attention... <coughs> yeah, six. Yeah, object of attention is three. Yep. Uh, speedy search makes two, so that makes a, five, a total of five. Yep, and then you can use effectively like advantageous positions. Not sure if that's going to give me anything in, you know, searching, but... I'm going to use it. It's more if you stumble onto something. It gives you advantage on not walking straight into an enemy, for example. So I wouldn't walk into a dagger now. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use it. High chance of you not walking into the dagger. <laughs> yes, yeah, so. Um, and with that 19 wisp, you put together a concoction of your spices and a uh, alcohol that has a really potent kick to it. And, oh you, you, and you put that down Mug's throat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm taking like five okay. steps backwards. Mug, your mouth is now on fire and you are waking up. You are going to be it, groggy. It, 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 <laughs> uh, wake up, Juice. Go back to the future. <laughs> yeah. What say, what's going on? Mug, you're back up. Great. You're alive. Who do I need to punch? I was punching someone. I remember punching people. It was great. Yeah, and then you took a cannonball to the face. What? What? A cannon? A whole cannonball? Do I still yeah. have a face? Is that why it exploded? <laughs> Did my face explode? It's it's fine, Mog. Me and Wisp made sure that you're looking as good as nothing no, it ever happened. No, it feels happened. like my it feels like my face exploded. How? My face exploded. Because it, I, I think it, no, it feels like his face is on fire, isn't it? Uh, and he panicked. Yep. <laughs> Your Maybe mouth I'm... is very very hot right now. Oh boy. Did did I Can swallow I the cannonball? Was it a small cannonball? <laughs> Here, Mark, Mark let, uh, do, do we have something for him to drink, Wisp? I have chocolate on me. It might help. <laughs> <laughs> Not that chocolate, though! <laughs> the other chocolate! That oh, would boy. be incredible for me. <laughs> Wake him up, only to, you know, knock him out again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that would be a bit funny. Well, Mark, eat, eat, eat this. It, it might help. <laughs> What, what, what's this? Mm. Some chocolate. Okay, M M Mug is just like eating it, like just biting into it and then chomping <laughs> and eating. It will start to dull the taste. <sighs> is, is this uh, some, some magical healing thing? It's pretty nice. I mean, it, it's something Wisp gave me, so. So therefore, uh, it's magical uh... healing. <laughs> Uh -huh. I didn't know Wisp had magic. Uh, not so much magic. It's, it's drugs. <laughs> yeah. So, so who, who shot the cannonball in my face? Because I have to go and punch them. It seems it's pretty bad. No. What, Edric? No, you're not blaming <laughs> <It was Edric? laughs> Okay, no. next time I see Edric, I will punch him. Uh, oh. <laughs> no. There was someone at the riot that sh shot a cannonball that hit you in the face. I don't know who it was. Uh, so it wasn't Edric? I, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Wisp, are you trying to trick me again? <laughs> Yes, Mug, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Just because 
he didn't see it in me and I didn't. I mean, if you do it too many times, he'll catch on. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll do is I'll interrupt here and say what Silas has discovered as he's investigated the alleys. Mm. So, oh, okay, yeah. running past the pile of blood that uh, he tried his best not to pay any attention to. It still got very professionally ignored. Yep. It's clear that there are no footprints approaching from the other side as well. And there is nothing but a lot of scuffling marks around the general vicinity of the uh, puddle of blood. Out of curiosity, you make your way up onto the rooftop to try and get a different vantage point. And it's from up there you notice that there is one or two tiles of the building that have been knocked loose. Yes. Moving along it, you find that this is a repeating pattern on some of the nearby buildings. And that it looks like something has actually been running across the rooftops. Oh. Can I, like, easily climb the building? Some of them are close enough together that you can make your way across <coughs> without having to strenuously try to take dangerous jumps. And due to the speed it took you to um, track down these clues, I'd say it would be very quick for you to make your way along. Okay. Eventually you get to a point where you run out of these damaged and loose tiles. And it's clear that the general vicinity that you're in is a much... Uh, more disused part of the warehouses and store area areas and that's it's very close to a section of the walls that divides it from one of the other districts at the base of the walls is a grate that looks extremely damaged And it, has and it has footprints around it. A grate that's extremely damaged and footprints all around it. Yep. yep. I'm going to look in. You'll remind me, do you have dark vision? Uh, yes, uh, 20 meters. Excellent. So you'll stick your head in and realize that it's extremely dark uh, once you get past the actual damaged bars on the grate. And it leads into a tunnel that looks like a old and disused sewer. And for about 20 meters in each direction, it veers off. Can I get you to do a perception seeing roll? Yes, of course. Give me a second. Not a problem. I found them. Ooh. I plus four plus two, so no stun points, but plus four plus two is well, 17 total. That's plenty good enough. You see a couple of droplets of blood. <laughs> Much further down the tunnel, almost outside your vision. I'm going to take care of a few steps. So you're going to actually go inside? Uh, yes, but only like a few steps at first. Yep. So you shimmy through the damage bars of the grate and 
take a couple of steps inwards. Near the droplets of blood, you see that there is footprints and that these appear to be humanoid. At the very least, they're wearing boots. So you know that's an issue. I don't like humanoid. <laughs> no, Silas is going to look around. Notice yep. that he has no clue uh, where this person, thing, monster, whatever it is, uh, has gone. Just go and uh, take a few steps more. And then he'll uh, look around the corner into that corridor. Yep. Further along, you see that the tunnel branches out into a much wider uh, tunnel that there is now an actual sewer. Uh, Foul-smelling water is running underneath these walls. And along either side of it are long stone pathways with the occasional branching off tunnel very very far in the distance for a very short moment you see a light that almost looks like it's torchlight that then vanishes oh that's less okay I'm gonna you know carefully just uh, step back because this does not seem like the thing that Silas should be researching on his own. Fair enough. Because there's blood involved, and now there's like torchlight that disappears, and he's he's getting paranoid. This is definitely a trap set by like those people that try to you know hunt him down. <laughs> <coughs> so, Silas, you make your way back out, uh, squeezing back through the grate. Do you leave just on the ground, or do you try and get back up onto the rooftops where you were? Um, I'm going to try and get back up. No problem. It takes you a bit of time, but you do manage to make it up onto the rooftops and trek the path that you originally came on. Okay. Do I notice anything peculiar there? On the way back, you don't notice anything more than what you already have. You still, it becomes clearer that this is a path where it seems like someone or something was sort of leaping from building to building. Um, How close to like my jumps are their jumps? Much better. Much better. So they jump further. They make the they clear the distances with more. Uh, ease that kind of stuff yeah so some of the jumps you're having to jump across two or three more buildings just to get to the same one that they went on hmm. okay i'm gonna take some notes in my uh, engineering notebook yep so you'll easily work out that they've been clearly jumping over gaps that are about 15 odd meters Do I know of anything that can jump 50 knot meters? Uh, short of something that short already something has that wings or, or um, um, quite a reasonable speed, speed, you're not entirely certain. It's the Ooh. dragon riders. We should murder them all. <laughs> Logical conclusion. Yeah. yeah. You should report them to the drag dragon riders that are protecting the city. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> So after a while, you'll have finished taking your notes and you'll note that the uh, markets are now starting to completely shut down. It seems like after the riots, the guards have gone through and effectively put a curfew on. Okay. And the first time you get spotted by a guard, they'll gesture towards the docks district and say... 
uh, back to your ship, or if you've got accommodation, back to their curfews oh, in place. I'm very sorry, has something happened? Due to the riots that just kicked off down in the docks, we're on a curfew until the perpetrators are brought to justice. Now that seems like a good idea. Um, would you mind if I make my way through the docks? Is it safe? Perfectly safe, citizen. It's well under control now. Okay, thank you very much. And I make a, la a little bow. Like, extra fancy. <laughs> and then I... Uh, I would start, uh, start walking towards the ships. As, I, you, as you walk yeah. through the gates into the docks district again unless you are slowing down to go anywhere else on the way I, I would definitely see if Bajiri has um, made his way to the ship uh, Bajiri will have made his way to the Cirrus once um, the guards started going door to door on the remaining taverns okay um, as you enter the gates to the docks district again you'll notice that there is Next to no one except soldiers on the street. Sitting above the gates to the wealthier district is a large green dragon with a rider mounted on its back. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick look at, like, is the dragon wearing armor, that kind of stuff. You notice it has some light armor on it, but the armor seems to be more ceremonial than actually protective um at your best guess it might have something to do with the scales fair enough I, i'm gonna look at the rider try and make eye contact the rider has the helmet off and is just scanning the general vicinity and they have a slightly extended rifle propped up Ooh, an extended rifle, you say? The barrel seems to go be, to go be at least another, another, I'd say, 20 centimeters longer than what you'd normally expect. I'm going to take some notes. Yep. Uh, also, the design of the uh, design of the rifle, that kind of stuff? Yep, from what you can see, you can take a couple of notes. And then I'm going to, you know, look at him once more, hold up my thumb and say, um, I'm going to make my way to the ship. Is there anything I should keep my eye out for? I'm going to shout that out. The soldier leans over a little bit and looks down at you. And you'll notice that the dragon itself also turns its head, so it's looking at you. Ooh. The... You're getting these bumps. <laughs> <laughs> the rider just shakes his head and goes, back to your ship as quickly as possible, citizen. <laughs> okay. And I just make my way to my ship. Also, Wisp, I reckon that, yes, we would have that milk. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that you would, based on the fact that Bingo also has a coffee habit, You'd have some preserved milk. Perfect. I'll get some. Good job, long. Bingo. <laughs> yep. Um, Mark, can you check your mic? There's echoes coming from you. Oh, uh, sorry. I... Trying to remember the name Head's of it. Heads, heads up, yes. Yeah. Right. I think my sound actually went for a second there too. So, Silas, you're going to notice that the docks are now... Com turn? It's good for me? Good for everyone else? Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. All good. So, Silas, you'll notice the docks are completely bare now. Um, there are a couple of people moving about on the decks of various ships. The area where the Shayaka um, were docked up, there is now a large 
a uh, group of elven soldiers standing there. There is also, likewise, at the very end of the dock, another dragon and a rider mounted on it. <coughs> this one is watching basically the entire dock that the Shaikh would have access to. Okay. Um, would I... Uh, would I still be allowed to, you know, visit the uh, Hathad? Because I have a feeling that, you know, that political dinner is going to have to be postponed for a bit. Uh, you'll have to walk past the docks that they're up on, um, on the way. Um, oh, okay. A human uh, sailor in Hathad colors actually quickly jogs down the ramp and runs up to you and hands you a note um, as he see, uh, as you're seen making your way back towards your ship. Uh, basically, he stops just short of you and gives a sort of half bow and says, message from the captain for you, good sir. I give him the half bow back and then I uh, take the note and I quickly read it. The note basically says, uh, due to the events of tonight, I believe we must postpone our intended meeting. The entire docks district appears to be under some form of house arrest until a resolution is brought. And with that, the sailor rapidly just runs back to his ship as if he doesn't want to be caught dead off it. Just before he makes his way uh, actually back onto the ship completely... Yep. I'm going to ask him, uh, when were you planning on leaving port again? The sailor shouts back, um, last I heard, we're good for at least another week. Okay. That should be long enough. And I just salute him and then I walk back to my ship. You'll note that there's a couple of guards near your... Uh vessels, uh, the Cirrus and the um, uh, Patea, but nowhere near as many that are up the other end of the docks, and you do not have a dragon, personally, looking at you. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm going to take a quick stop at the uh, Cirrus. Yep. Catch someone's attention. There's a number of crew on uh, board, so you can easily get one of their attention. Okay, I'm going to get their attention and I'm going to ask them to relay a message to Bajiri. One of them will come over and go, written, sir, or do you just want it passed on verbally? I'm going to quickly scribble a note. Uh, out, rip a note out of my uh, notebook. Yep. I'm going to like scribble a note saying well, something along the lines that... Uh, uh, wait, wait, uh, what's it called? Yeah, uh, something along the lines of the political dinner being postponed and uh, sometime this week, preferably, and then something about the riots and that I heard someone yelling about uh, uh, this is a gift of the orcs. So a quick summary of what I have uh, surmised from, well, today. Yep. You easily do that and the sailor rushes across onto the cirrus and then makes his way back after having delivered the note okay. you'll notice that a number of your crew seem to be a little bit on the tipsy side as if they've been hurled out of taverns there's a couple of them griping but it, others seem to have brought uh drinks along with them as if they've were able to just walk out of the places with cups in hand <laughs> no one stopped them yeah. in fact they were telling them to go <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna just you know see if the sailor has a, uh, has a drink for me um, in lieu of a active tavern uh, you'll note that a couple of the sailors uh, emerge up on deck uh under the guidance, the guidance of the twins, and they start setting up their own sort of entertainment. There is some alcohol that's brought up, and a couple of the others 
um, manage to pull out bottles and such that they've managed to get their hands on. Awesome. I'm going to, you know, join in there, have a drink, and then try and see if I can find any of the crew. Like, not the ship's crew, but the, you know, the suicidal sailors. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so in the meantime, hey <laughs> what have the rest of you three been doing below decks? So I'd say mm. between Mug waking up um, and Silas returning, you would have had about a good 20, 30 minutes. Well, I would have gotten the milk at least. Yeah. Got milk. <laughs> oh, what, what's, what's Verbi doing? So, so Mug was confused about who shot him in the face with a cannon. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And Did you see? Okay. So, yeah, just... I think Mug just accused Wisp of lie, uh, trying to trick him. Did you see the question I posted earlier? Oh, oh, sorry, no. Ah, let me try to get there. Mm. Uh, uh, so does okay. Mug remember that Edric was the fake name that Silas was using? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think he knows that Silas is both Edric and Silas, but I think he are, just are keeps calling sure? him Edric... one or the other. <laughs> know him as the bastard and not <laughs> well he, he did all three so he he has learned all three and he doesn't know what the difference is he doesn't know which one is fake and which one is real so he just uses whichever <laughs> others are using at the time yeah. well he did do the bounty hunt for silas so he is aware yeah. of the names i would say yeah, yeah but fair to say he doesn't know which one's actually a real name and a fake name Exactly, so, so that's the funny part, that he doesn't know which one is his real name, so he keeps saying whichever, whichever people are saying. But he, he knows it means Silas. <laughs> he knows it means the bastard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he knows as much as that. So I'll say yeah. that you will... Um, easily find the preserved milk and uh, be able to get at least a cup of that together for Mug. How does that taste? Mug is chugging the whole thing down. It doesn't have enough alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's removing the burning, right? Mm. Yeah, but it's shit beer. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Definitely. You know, I, I'm gonna go fi find you a, a, a mug of beer, huh? I'll I'll be right back. <laughs> so, oh, we've lost mug. Hopefully we get mug back. There we go. It seems to be dropping off. I'm, I'm in my sound. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully so, that's so, temporary. So, so, yeah. Okay. So 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 mug, mug and Helder just agreed that it's it's shit beer. <laughs> yeah, and, and and then then mug uh, no <laughs> Helder said, "Let me go bring you a beer," and then. <laughs> Give me one too. <laughs> Free beers it is. <laughs> yeah, let, let's have let's have a drink, a better drink. So I'll say, Haldia, as you go up on deck, you will bump into Silas. Oh, Silas, you're back. <laughs> yeah. So, how did everything go? <laughs> Why did you put that idea in Mug's head? Do you know how difficult it was getting him back here? Well, uh, to be honest, it's because I'm planning stuff. Planning? Yes. If we hadn't gotten Mug out of there, he would have gotten an actual cannonball in his face. They started shooting cannons at civilians, Silas. You don't know that. That's the part I didn't expect. 
How is a plan telling Mug to go start a fucking riot? Well, it's part of the grand scheme. See, you just The grand scheme of getting Mug killed. No, 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 no. I would never do that. Well, that was basically what would have happened, and f me and Wisp hadn't been there to fix it. Well, see, that's part of the plan as well. <laughs> How is... Uh... <laughs> you know what, Silas? <laughs> I'm gonna grab myself a drink. See, and see, then, like before you do any of your brilliant fucking plans... Talk to us, huh? Well, um, it's, uh, see, uh, part of the plan is already in motion, so now the rest will follow quickly. Oh, like, like the last time where I was suddenly told that we had to make a prison break. Um, yes, except this time it's just a little bit different. Oh. I can't wait to know what I need to deal with this time. I promise, you, I promise you it will be fun. <laughs> if it's your definition of fun, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna like it. it. It's the one where we don't endanger many people out of our crew. I would prefer if we didn't endanger any well, to be in fair, our when, crew. When, when Mug is in the crew, there's a very difficult time with not putting anyone in a dangerous situation because Mug. But yeah. for the rest, yes. I did already apologize to the, you know, ruler of this city that Mug is here and stuff might happen. So Especially when you they... started. Well, they will excuse him. Alright. Uh, right. <laughs> anyway, to make sure I don't get harmed, I need to bring a, a beer to Mug. <laughs> if you promised him that, good luck, hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> he walks back down with some beer. Yep, you'll easily get your hands on, like, a couple of beers. Mm. Here we go, Mug, Wisp. Thank you. Thanks, Harley. It's good to have a, a good beer after a fight. and It makes a good story that I got shot in the face with a cannonball. Yes. People will love that in the pub. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised it didn't hurt you more. Like, we, we yeah, had to I'm fix you. Tough. But yeah, yeah, most course. people, their head wouldn't be on their shoulders anymore. Yeah, nice. you know what, from him. now on. Yeah, from now on, I'm not afraid of cannonball. I will, I will just, you know, if I survive uh -huh. one of those... <laughs> I, I can just jump in front of them. <laughs> and well, do remember that it took you out of the fight. So you can't fight if you're not afraid of cannonballs. You need to make sure they don't hit you. Okay, I'll, I'll try to dodge. Get saved. <laughs> <laughs> Aldia just clinks his glass with the wisps and drinks. Um, wait, wisps? Wisp, Haldir, and Mug, you're in the surgery, right? Yes. Sure. Okay. Yep. Oh, Mug, do you have my handle, by the way? Hmm? You, you what? The handle for the surgery door. People keep getting in. Uh... <laughs> Did you lose oh, it? I just it. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember <laughs> what I did, did it? <laughs> uh, Was it important? Yes. Do I need someone to make a new handle? Mug should make I it since he's the one who lost it. Now, now I think, think it's you... somewhere on the ship. Now good, and you're gonna find it, yeah? He's good at fabricating stuff. Over my dead yeah, body. I mean... <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can try to make a new handle. What, what do you make it out of? Should I take a hammer and then bend it into place? Do you even know where the handle is? <laughs> no, but I will make something look like it. Like doors have it, right? Uh. Yeah. I, I can just like bend, bend the hammer into that shape. They kind of have similar shapes. Wait, you're gonna make 
a handle of a hammer. He's gonna bend. Am a I understanding that correctly? He, he's gonna bend a wooden yeah. hammer. The <laughs> 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 handles are made of metal, right? Yes, but the hammer uh, is made of wood. <laughs> no. Like, is that not a no, mallet? No, the hammer has metal oh, in fair. it. Yeah. Yeah, so I will take a metal hammer and I will like bend it and, and then it will be like that shape. Right. And then I'll just yeah. punch it into the door. Uh, how about you just make me a handle and I'll attach it? Of well, course. I, I just told you that I'm, I'm going to make it. Uh-huh. What's stopping you from doing it right now? I will do it right now! So look, and he starts looking for a hammer. Or anything that's like similar size. But of course he chucks down his drink. Like the whole, whole thing. Noted. Can I... <laughs> Should I roll perception? Uh, can... Yes, can I get you to roll perception? Oh my god. It's not a triple six, but I think Mug is going to find a hammer. <laughs> Just as long as it's not my hammer. You have a hammer? Yes, I have several tools. I'm the engineer on this. <laughs> Did it find your roof a really high roll? <laughs> to be fair, his hammer and his other tools would be on him because he uses them on his weapons, which he has on him. So he has the tools with him, but... Let's just say, depending oh, on this role, there might be something that will be interesting. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, it's 17, not 27. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> but for a second, I was scared shitless. At a perception of 27. <laughs> no. Sorry. <laughs> Mug sees through space and time and sees the face of God. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a hammer. What, what color what beard does God have? <laughs> but, so, with a 17, um, so, Mug, you race out of the uh, surgery and go rummaging around below decks. Um, you find a area with um, some tools up on the walls and so on. Uh you move a couple of items looking for a hammer and in doing so find a small mallet and a very familiar looking door handle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One might just say that he bends it into that shape. Yeah, what well, well, comes back and says, um, uh, boost. Is this the shape that you want me to bend the hammer into? Uh... Oh, you found the handle mug. Good job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, this, is the, this was the handle. Yeah, I'm curious. So this is the shape you want me to bend the hammer into. Look, I found the hammer. <laughs> That's a well wooden... done. <laughs> That's a wooden mallet. So he now has a wooden hammer with the intention of bending it in the shape of the handle. Well, I'm curious to see if we can bend it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly the shape. Well, well... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I can bend metal. I'm sure I can bend wood, says Mug. And so I start to try to bend the mallet. Mug, can you do a strength, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to break. Like, yeah. Oh, will Mog be sad? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I, I mean, to be honest, any, any roles with, with like might with Mug is just a bit scary. <laughs> Mug, you snap the handle off just below the head of the mallet. Oh, oops. Um, well, <laughs> I guess it's closer in shape now. 
Anyway, <laughs> do, do you want to, this 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 other handle that I found? <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I cheers to that. <laughs> Do you have any more drinks? This made me thirsty. <laughs> All you did was break a hammer in half. <laughs> you know. Yeah, and I had a good fight before that. Mm. I'm I'm sure you can find find one. What a drink or a hammer? The drink. <laughs> I don't think he needs another hammer. <laughs> Well, he hasn't tried bending the metal one yet, so... Yeah, is one handle enough? Or do you need multiple handles? Well, if I need more, I know who to come to now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should <sighs> What time is it around about now? Like night time? It is getting later in the uh, evening. You get the... So Silas would have got the distinct suspicion that they shut the markets down early. Mm -hmm. um, but it is getting on towards meal times. Um, a crew member will, unless you've got more to do, um, eventually come down and start working his way through the ship and calling out for the dinner meal. Um, what it's going like? I should go and find Tuda and tell her about the new riot I made. <laughs> go, go do that, Mike. Go do that. If she's yeah, on the I ship. Know. Yeah, and I will find more drinks. M M Mug, when, when there's often starts of, of more drinks and soda. <laughs> When Mog is gone, Haldir just looks at Whisper like, I think we did it. Mm. <laughs> hey, you got your handle back? <laughs> and we got Mog out of the riot. Uh-huh. I'm concerned that where everyone else is. Yeah, but if they close everything down, they might have had to... Sleep in an inn or something. Mm, don't like that. Because we're talking the two tiny ones, the big captain annoying people and the orc that apparently everyone's going to start targeting for some reason. Everyone's going to target Seda? Well, Mug did say, um, what was it, courtesy of the orcs or whatever. Who's to say that they're not going to start targeting orcs? Oh yeah. Well, I think Seda can take care of herself. Hmm. We c we can't do much to try and find them yet. Maybe in the morning. Hmm. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna worry for them. Particularly Verity. <laughs> yeah. She's too naive on how the world works. It frightens me. Did anyone go with her to go see dragons, by the way? Um, Bingo and Seda. Bingo. You know that for certain, yeah? Because I'm pretty sure I ran out before then. To be fair, I think Haldir ran out first before that was planned. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. True. Haldir <laughs> would know. Maybe huh? knows, but Wisp also ran out quite early. So yeah. So it that the both of you don't know this. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Maybe Silas knows. Is he here? <laughs> oh yeah, he's here. And he didn't say hi, the cheeky get. <laughs> I said hi to Haldir. <laughs> to be fair, I said a whole lot to Haldir. Also about the plan. <laughs> what plan? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was where Haldir was going. Well, I just saw him when I was going uh, to get a drink. He, he seemed very happy about his plan having worked so far. You mean getting Mog almost killed? That's what I said! <laughs> but apparently it was part of his plan that we would get him out of it and not get murdered. Oh, I'm gonna murder him in his sleep. 
<laughs> I will have nothing to do with that. I'm gonna go find some food. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> I'll do leaves as well. <laughs> Silas is probably going to get get some food as well before he goes. So you'll note that the main mess is actually relatively bare and it's missing a couple of the uh, long benches. Um, a sailor passing by will indicate to uh, Wisp and Haldir as you come up um, that they're actually setting up on deck. Um, mm -hmm. Silas, you will actually see them start to pull out um, the benches and a couple of tables and set up like an open air um, mess on deck and the chefs will start bringing up food uh, you'll notice that there's a lot more fresh stuff and it appears that the head chef has already ordered fresh supplies to uh, add to what you already had aboard I'm and there is Oh, this is looking good. Sorry, go ahead. So, Silas is going to start singing like drinking songs, trying to get the crew in on it and just, you know, making it a big party. Plenty of the crew will be joining in. Uh, did, did Mug manage to find Seda or is she not on the ship? Uh, Mug, it won't take you long but you will eventually spot Seda and she is quietly sitting up near uh, the side of the ship uh, reading through her journal wasn't Seda with uh, Verity and Bingo yep okay yeah Mog is walking up to her <laughs> hey hey Seda guess what uh, I I started another riot, and then I got shot with a cannon in the face. <laughs> Satan's going to close her book and <laughs> blink and look at you and say, That must have been quite impressive to see, Mug. Hardly a scratch on your nose. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it felt like my face was on fire, but then... Like th th then, Haldir and and Wits gave me this like white and really shitty beer, and, <laughs> and that helped me. It was like some sort of magical thing. She just smiles and goes, "That definitely doesn't sound like any beer I've ever drunk." <laughs> yeah, but like the the riot was a riot. Like it was so great. <laughs> I, I, I went to beat up the Shayak because, like, si Silas told me to, and and like, pe people just like made like it was like a proper event. They were all gathered there to watch, and they made me a corridor, and and you know I managed to slap someone with a sailor. She is smiling at you, Mug, going. Such a shame I missed it. <laughs> that yeah, would have been a sight to see. Even, yeah, it would have been even better if you were there to fight as well. I'll just have to make sure I'm around you more often, Mug. <laughs> yeah, you're, all, you're always welcome. You're good to fight with. Good to rely on in a riot. <laughs> yeah, anyway, should we get some food and drink? Because, like, hungry. I'm hungry. That sounds like a plan. So she'll join you, Mug, to basically join the others. Uh, the crew are basically forming queues and grabbing um, plate loads of food. Um, there is uh, a couple of small kegs that have been brought up on deck. Uh, that appear to have been purchases from some of the uh, crew and they're dishing out uh, drinks. And eventually you'll be able to grab a mixture of foods. There's everything from uh, fruits to stews and um, 
all sorts of uh, different uh, types of food that have been prepared by your two chefs. So, Haldir and Wisp, do you come up on deck at this stage, or...? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Yeah, so you'll come up and basically see that it's, by this stage, pretty much a party on deck. Um, you'll see Silas sitting there, basically leading a sing-along of drinking songs. Uh, Mug and Wisp... Uh, sorry, Mug and um, Seda um, have queued up and they've gotten food. Um, and are uh, making their way towards a clear spot on one of the tables. How there will go over towards Seda and Mug. Oh, hey, 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 I was telling Seda about the riot, like how good it was. Did, did you enjoy the riot? <laughs> you, right? I was definitely impressed seeing you in the middle of the riot. Say, did, have you seen uh, Verity or Bingo? She shakes her head slightly and goes. Lost sight of them when we were basically herded back to the ships, but I think they're in good hands. Okay. I hope that's enough Ooh, to is, calm is down not... Wisp. Yeah, should we look for her? Not th tonight, why not? I think they'll find their way above deck, or wherever they've stashed themselves in good time. Oh god, Bingo and Verity as a team. <laughs> Somehow I feel like that would be more chaos than anything Silas can achieve with Mug. Uh huh. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, that's for certain. Oh boy. Oh, oh, Seda, I had a question. So, how do you go about finding siblings? Because I thought that was really neat that you, like, found a sibling. <laughs> Seda's going to sort of think for a moment and then smile at you, Mug, and go. Well, if I'm to be honest about it, it was sheer dumb luck. <laughs> okay, so I just have to be lucky. Mm. All I had to go on was a picture of Bingo's mother and a rough description of where to find her somewhere in Generous. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. I have to go to the Shire capital and punch lots of people until they tell me where my family is. That that's why I have to do, right? She's just gonna blink and look at you slightly confused. It's like why would they know anything about your family in the Shire capital? Yeah, because they have the records of the slaves. She runs a finger sort of along her cheeks in a sort of repeated motion as she thinks and ponders it and then says, It must indeed be true they would keep records of their raids, but how would you get in there? Uh punch a lot of people she's just gonna start giggling <laughs> how, how dear joins in on the laugh and i'm sure if mog ever gets close to that capital he's gonna find that book sheer dumb luck you have it as well mug <laughs> oh yeah yeah but i will need someone who can read it I'm sure me and Seda can help you with that one. Yeah, good. And you, you, you need to tell which book it is, because people tend to have lots of books. That would indeed be a problem, but... If I hear anything of what would give you a 
hand in finding where you need to look, I'll definitely let you know. I owe you the at least that much for getting me out of that jail cell. Th thanks a lot. I know you can rely on you guys. Which reminds me, Seda, why did you actually end up in that jail cell to begin with? I knew we broke you out and everything, but I don't think I ever heard why. Truth be told, I don't know exactly what charges they were holding me under officially. But and the... unofficially? <coughs> well, the honest truth of it is, is that I walked away from a marriage proposal that would have left me very, very unpopular. So someone wanted to marry you and you didn't like them? More like... I didn't want to marry them because the only reason they wanted me was to get a hold of my father's wealth and riches that belonged to someone else. Yeah, that sounds like a shit bag. I wouldn't marry them either. <laughs> she laughs at that. <laughs> Next time I see them, I'll make sure that I pass on that exact statement for your mug. <laughs> well, I'll, so I'll take it that person was very influential back in Fort Newhouse, and that's why you ended up in jail. Not just Fort New Hearth, Hearth out itself. He was the commander of the Third Legion. Geltrick Tar. I'm fairly certain he has agents all over the place looking for me still. Yeah, are, are, are they the orcs? They're, they're orcs as well, right? Because, yeah, so so he's told me to to punch the Shayek for the orcs. I wonder if it's them. She's going to look at you, Mug. And then she's going to look across at Silas and then back to you, Mug, and say... Wait, am I in the same room? Or same open space now? Yeah, you're all up on deck. Uh, um, you're, you're eating, no? Or, or you, were, you were drinking and singing. Um, yeah, okay. So, yes, Silas, you will hear Mug say this. <laughs> I'm going to just sigh, face palm, <laughs> and, then, and then say, well, I didn't say the orcs at first. I said, Hathad. Yeah. I, so I, he's I, just, just going to have her mouth well. just drop open slightly. <laughs> right, Silas, this would be a great time for you to actually explain this entire plan you apparently have. Okay, so we'll begin by the be uh, by uh, at the start then. We have to free Alara, and the only way we can do that without you know getting ourselves mixed up in a political conflict. Oh, Alara is here. Should we go see her? We can't, Mug. That's the entire issue. Yeah, the only yeah. way okay, we sorry. can the only way we can do that is with this simple plan. So if we, you know. Free Alara, bring her on the ship, and, uh, you know, make our way away from here. We'll have both the Shayak and Hathad after, on, uh, after us, yeah. praying to, you know, kill us, free Alara, take whatever she's holding, that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah. if we, you know, manage to distract them with all-out war, that means that we can freely save Alara. Oh, that sounds like a good plan. Okay. Should I carry a Laura? That might be helpful. So, so, so yeah. what you're telling me is that we have to start a war between two nations for you to get your girlfriend on board this ship. No, 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 no. It's about a much bigger picture now. So she has this item. Uh huh. And this item is what pretty much every country is after. And they're willing to murder everyone for, for it. 
lost. Therefore, you know, we must make sure that it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Because so, otherwise entire countries die. And I kind of don't like entire countries dying. Hey, yeah, war? I can agree with that one, but wouldn't a war make a lot of people die anyway? Well, the Shai Could, Couldn't you... We get paid for every shy ship that dies, so if, you know, we start a war, we are responsible for that. We get a lot of payment. But what if Alara just snuck away and disappeared? That's, that's we not we managed to do that with Seda. We could do that again. We no, done that with Alara the first time. That's not going to work here. Why? Because she's under stricter guard than last time. Why is she here? Why did she come here? It looks like she's under protection here. Then why do you want to take her away from that then? Because the, the only thing she's under protection from is Hatad and the Shayak. If we manage to eliminate that threat by, say, you know, getting them to be distracted for a while, then we, uh, then we actually have a chance at, you know, safely taking her away to a place where they can't follow. And you're sure it's a Lara you want to protect? It's a Lara, it's that item, and it's uh, a little girl that's also, you know, a princess. Oh, oh, the little girl! Yeah, I want to protect the little girl. Where is she? I will, I will go to her now. Is she in the castle? Mug, going, her, going there now will leave, mean not only you get killed, but also we all get killed and the little girl. They're not killing me. See, if they try, I'll beat them. Let's see if they can do anything about that. So they have dragons. And yeah, I'll they are that dragon. big. I point at the dragon. <laughs> I'm sorry, weren't you that encouraging him like... to fight dragons earlier? Yeah. Yes, but that was earlier. That, that, that was like before I knew this. <laughs> oh, how the tables have turned, sir. Oh, how the turntables. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, also, yeah. guys. But... I have this other thing that I found that I should probably tell you about because I was smart enough not to engage with this. Mm -hmm. So as I was, you know, chilling in the market, making sure that I was seen there while you were uh, off starting a massive riot. I, yep. uh, I heard a scream. What did you so do? I, no, I, heard, I only heard a scream. So I went to investigate. And I found blood. Lots of it. I did not pass out. There was no Really? Body. Yes. There was hmm. no body. So I, you know, climbed the roof, followed them. Uh, there were lots of loose roof tiles, which led me to believe that I had to go that way. I followed them. I ran into the sewers, where I found more blood. And I followed that. And then I saw, you know, a torch going out at the far end. And I decided, you know what, maybe it's better if I don't go at it alone, because there are still assassins trying to murder me. There's blood here. <laughs> There's a torch going out. You know, maybe bring some backup. So I decided to come back and find you guys, and... I find that the entire city is in lockdown. Gee, I wonder whose fault that is. <laughs> well, I was just in the tavern having a drink. No, you I... were not. And then yeah, but why, the why would they lock the city? Did something bad happen? <laughs> I have no clue, Mug. I was just chilling in the market and then all of a sudden the city is in lockdown. Why were you <laughs> following a trail of blood? I just wanted to see what was going on. Because the guards only investigated the very first, like, alley, and they didn't even find the footsteps. By yourself. Blood. No, you. I, I decided Why are you to, even concerned? I decided to... It doesn't seem up. like you at all. Are you feeling okay? You're very bizarre today, Edric. I promised to protect people. When? I keep my promises. Well, I didn't promise... When you. the hell did you promise to protect people? I did not promise you. I promised someone else. Who? Someone. Let me mm -hmm. guess. Alara. Correct. Yet you want to start a war. No, 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 no. Only a small scale war. Like, uh. it's, it's more of a fleet battle between, you know, the dudes that are from the Shayak and the dudes that are from Hatat. 
because both of them have douche bags and both of them have Glenn out of character real quick. Yep. <laughs> there was something that I had to talk about with the Hathad people. Was it? Oh, it was that the uh, Vudrians decided to go and attack them, right? Um. Yep. That the notes that you had managed to decipher said that the uh, ships were to also investigate Fort Hearth and how strong they were. Ah, yes. Um, that was the one. What right. is the Statue of Eros? Sorry, a character. It's a thing on the map. Okay. Well, there was a note for that, too. It yeah, said that all... any ship approaching that area was mm -hmm. to be attacked. Mm -hmm. So I just pinned the, the full note uh, with translations. It's destroy anything that approaches a uh, statue, uh, scout the strength of Fort Hard, and please don't start shit with Jinnere. Mm. Which ob obviously I've now started. For um, <laughs> the PS was written by me, Silas. Oh, so that was not in the note. Okay, I, I misunderstood that completely for like the last two and a half sessions. I, I even asked about that, and I only got the answer that it was in the note, I believe. No, you haven't asked me. <laughs> I asked everybody at the table last time. Um, oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. Also, oh. um, Alara did basically say don't start a war, so... Oh boy. No, 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 no. She, 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 she Alara said don't do do start a war. Alara encouraged the war. Alara said don't start it in this port. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, well... I didn't start shit in this port. I was in the market district. <laughs> so, what I'm going to say to get Bingo involved and to explain where Bingo has been. What, uh -huh. just freak out? Okay, so, um, after your interesting find up near where the... On an orc! <laughs> um, <laughs> you saw the dragons and uh, you witnessed uh, a Verity finding a baby dragon uh, can we keep him <laughs> <laughs> I will say you actually managed to get to say that before the proverbial actually hits the fan you <laughs> You'll have heard the bells start to ring. You will notice uh, from your vantage point down into what appears to be the military area um, oh, of God. the town that they go berserk. It's like someone's kicked an ant's nest. Soldiers are running everywhere. People are getting equipment set up onto dragons. It looks like they're going to try and get a couple of them in the air. Um, and Seda basically turns around and says, I think it's best for us to go. And you <laughs> literally start legging it. Um, as you flee back into the market districts, um, you will find that there are tons of soldiers going from door-to-door, uh, -door, effectively evicting anyone that isn't a local citizen and sending them back down towards the docks. Um, Seder is quickly spotted and she makes her way um, basically after getting shoved in the direction of the docks by one of the nearby soldiers. Um, Bingo, you escape notice. Um, yeah. And will find yourself still in the uh, market district. You'll notice that you've also lost Verity along the way. The place is filled now with soldiers. Uh, the last of the um locals have either been sent back to their homes or the sailors and those that are passing through have been sent back to the ships there is many many mo more times the number of troops patrolling now as they make their way through the district oh uh. 
Okay. But I'm hidden, right? Yeah, you've managed to... Okay. <laughs> sort of escape notice sneaky, so far. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Okay. Um, I'll try and get back to a place I think my lot would go if I can't see them. And if I can see any of them, I'll try and follow, yep. follow the chaos. Question, uh, Glenn. Yep. If that's after the curfew gets enforced... Yep. And Bingo is in the market. Would Bingo have a chance at seeing me? Uh, it would have been... I would say you would have made your way out. Um, probably by the... Just before um, Bingo's emerged from hiding. Okay. Just to avoid accidental paradoxes. <laughs> Fair. Um, so... You'll note that the taverns that you've seen people are in uh, were in are uh, all now shut. Uh, peeking through a window of one, you'll notice that there is uh, no one in there except for maybe like the occasional like employee doing like a pack down. The only place that you know of that you can guarantee find people is your ship, so you can make your way slowly. Uh, through the district um, trying to avoid the patrols um, which due to your <laughs> nature and uh, <laughs> the fact it's starting to now get dark uh, you don't seem and the to mask have... is back on 100% back on <laughs> yep you don't seem to have too many problems sort of keeping out of the way of the soldiers uh, they're moving in groups uh, talking they're obviously um... no not Next, being very stealthy. Little guy. <laughs> okay. Um, awesome. So as you get closer to the um, docks and the gate between, you do notice that there are two soldiers standing uh, near the doors um, or the great wooden doors that separate, but these uh, doors are open or at least one of them is open. There's a gap that they've been funneling people out of. Uh, can I get you to do a perception hearing? Yeah. Oh, plus one. Yay! Okay. 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 That that wasn't that good. I hate you, Google. I knew I should have brought my real dice. Um... <laughs> That's an eight. Right, yeah. Uh, you approach... The guards don't seem to be paying much attention to what's going on behind them, so they're not even looking in your general direction. And one of them sort of leans on heavily on his spear and just goes, hey, to the other one. Who glances across at him and goes, yeah, what? You wonder why we're here? The other one sort of straightens back up and looks up into the sky and goes, it's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? <laughs> Why are we here? I mean, are we are the product of some cosmic coincidence or is there a God watching everything? I finally found someone dumber than me. The and Mark... other guard turns and just gives him a deadpan look of what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Bingo sat there like, uh huh, and he's like totally on that guy's side, like, and what is the secret to the universe and everything? Why are we here? That's the a really interesting conversation. Goes, I meant why we're standing here at this gate. It's kind of redundant, and he gestures upwards. Oh, the temptation to do a Jack Sparrow and just walk up and be like, yeah, but see, if they trusted you to be standing at this gate, you wouldn't need someone to guard this gate, would you? And so, if the real need to be guarding is over there, then you should be over there doing the guarding, savvy. <laughs> You could try if you that want. Hurt. That hurt my brain. <laughs> what? What's behind the gate that they're guarding? Um, you can see through the gap and see the uh, ships. Um, when you sort of follow the guards' gaze upwards as well, um, from this side of the wall, you will actually see the tail end of a very large green dragon. Oh, you met him before. <laughs> There's a, there's a, there's a green, there's a green 
There's a green dragon? There is a green dragon sitting on top of the wall. It's facing into the dock district um, with a rider on its back, currently without its helmet. Is the rider? Uh, the rider is an elven man who has his helmet propped up underneath an armpit and is loosely holding a rifle. Also not looking in your direction, appears to be looking into the docks. Okay. Um, okay. And they're not attacking the city. These are good people? As far as you can see, they're just sitting and watching. Okay. Okay. I really want that drink. Hmm. 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 Could he maybe like climb the wall next to the dragon and go ahem and speak to the rider? <laughs> you can climb up there. Okay. <laughs> so you'll eventually make your way up to the uh, top of the wall and the. As you pull yourself up, the dragon's head turns and looks at you. And you find yourself looking at a dragon that is, for scale reference, about the size of an elephant. Wow. Oh. Um, You're going shout to the rider. So is he fully grown or is he, like, going to get any bigger? <laughs> The rider looks at you in complete confusion as to where the heck you've come from. Way from under <laughs> and he reaches down and taps the dragon gently on the neck and says, easy, easy. Not fully grown yet. And what the heck are you doing up here? Well, I came to say hi because I saw your dragon and thought you looked cool. And I thought, come and say hello, seeing as you've clearly got nothing else to be doing because you're sitting on a wall. So, hi, can I stroke your dragon? <laughs> <laughs> the rider... He's like playing up to the hall. He looks like a child right now. Just looks to you looks back into town, looks to the docks and is just like, I don't, what? Uh, oh, for the love <laughs> of all that's holy. And he just slides down off the side of the dragon and goes, yes, you can pat him. He's not going to hurt you. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> He'll reach up. To, to pat the dragon's neck and be like, this is so cool. So, who are you? What are you doing up here? Are you watching things? What do you do with your dragon? How come you get to ride a dragon? How did you learn to ride a dragon? Does it have a saddle? Does he listen to you? Can you talk to him? <laughs> so the rider looks at just this barrage of questions and opens his mouth and shuts it a few times and then says, I'll answer one of those questions and trade for one of my own. Where are your parents? <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, one of them apparently is off producing half siblings. And the other one what? is about 20,000 miles that way. <laughs> <laughs> Can you roll a communication Aww. check? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he could just choose to fail it. No. <laughs> okay, my communication. Ah, this is a plus two. It's fine. This, this is all fine. Okay, come on, Google. You like me. Okay. E, D, six. Okay. Oh, D, not F. Don't roll three F6. What the fuck is that? Okay. Okay. Eight. Ten. Radio. <laughs> And you haven't answered any of my questions yet. So I get two now. He shakes his head slightly and goes, and I didn't think my knight was going to get any more mad. In short, 
it takes years to learn how to ride one of these creatures. And then he sort of stops to think and try to remember what one of the barrage of questions was. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, And as far as size goes, they can get about twice as big as this. Now, oh. if truth be told, I need to get you off this wall, so would you like a quick ride down? I'm presuming that you're staying somewhere in the docks district? Ah! Uh. Am I staying somewhere in the docks district? Is that where we're parked? That is where you currently tied up. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, ah, you're parked there. No, no. <laughs> could, could, I, could you take me back to my ship, but look really slowly, because I think my friends are on the way back, and if they see me on a dragon, they will die. <laughs> he chuckles and goes, well, since things are quieting no. down, sure, and then he's going to help you up on top of the... No dragon way. on the sha uh, on the saddle and plop up behind you and he's actually Ask and you shall see <laughs> the dragon's just going to sort of look curve its neck around so it's looking at you and it gives a big sniff and a snort and then it turns around and flares <laughs> its wings and then as they, as they take off Kumbingo just shout what's his name <laughs> As it kicks off and launches, the rider's going to lean over and say loudly into your ear just above the wind that suddenly starts rushing through them, uh, Emerald. It's a wicked man! <laughs> uh, so, Silas, Wisp, Haldia, and mm -hmm. Mug, can you all do perception checks? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Of course we can. Um, Bingo, are you pointing out specifically which ship to fly over? Yeah. Darn it. Yeah, yeah. Why would I waste this on a perception? <laughs> oh, is it triple six? Uh, it's going to be yes. I had, a oh. I had a legendary success at seeing. Well, is it is it seeing? Uh, it is seeing. Okay, in that case, I rolled a 24. Yep. Um. <laughs> 224. <laughs> well, you are staring through space and time. Um. So. What I am going to say is... Uh, Wisp and Haldia, you see the dragon leap off the walls and hear the crack of its wings as it takes flight and comes right over the top of your ship. Uh, Silas, you hear and see the uh, dragon do it, and you notice two additional things. Firstly, you see that Bingo is in the seat right in front of the rider. The second thing you see is that as it takes off and starts to fly and loop over the ship... You glance, something out of the corner of your eye catches um, your attention, and you see a shadow running along the top of the wall that it just vacated and leap down into the uh, other district. The oh, wealthy one. Okay. Um, okay, Can I'm going to first shout... Oh, fuck. <laughs> what, what, what happened? Well, did you notice that? And I pointed at the dragon. Mug looks up. Oh, it's here for me to punch, isn't it? That's what no. we were talking about. Uh, bingo yeah, let me punch one. it. The... I just look at Hold It and Wisp and I go, Bingo is riding this one. Uh... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> a, I, I, I think it's too, too right high up. Or... Yeah. It's trying to eat Bingo, I will shoot it down. And it Mug is, is taking it, out his pistol. I'm gonna <laughs> grab hold of the, like, a barrel of his pistol. And I'm gonna try to twist it, like, away from whatever the dragon is at that po point in time. Yep. Glenn, uh, I had three stun points on my perception roll. Can I do a That Makes Me Wonder stunt? Yep. To try and see if I can remember something more about the or just see if 
I remember this specific type of uh, dragon knight where they are uh, from or something like that. Yep. Um, so, something I recognize. So the dragon itself is going to loop around your ship and then come and land effectively on the key directly next to your ship. And the rider will um, basically pick you up, Bingo, from around the waist and plonk you down on the side and go... Run along, I need to return to my duty. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Hang on, wait! Take these, quick! And he'll reach into his big bag that he has some of, and he'll hand the guy a pair of bright, bright blue and neon green starry socks. Glenn. For you! <laughs> yep. Glenn, two questions that might uh, affect how I respond to the dragon rider being near the ship. Yep. Uh, one, if I use my stunt points on a speedy search, because I I rolled that triple six. Yep. Uh, if I do a speedy search, would I have time to use a free action, pull out my rifle and look through the Skype uh, uh, and see if, the, uh, if I can discern anything more from the shadow? Uh, yes, you can. So I can say you can basically have pulled your scope, basically your scope slots, so you can actually just pull the scope off. So it looks like you're not throwing a weapon at the general direction of someone. So a good idea. Um, so you can do that. Um, and how dear you recognize the uniform of this dry, uh, rider? They're a relatively junior um, amongst the dragon riders, um, and you note that his colors and the uh, equipment he is wielding is that of a probably younger noble. Um, the dragon itself, though, um, you do also recall some information about, and I need to open that up. Uh, you do also recall that the, uh, green dragon riders, um, do tend to have a habit of, uh, really leaning into the skills of their dragons, which are quite capable of basically pinning a um, opponent and making them, under some form of natural magic, swap sides. Hmm. Okay, so so why are we not fighting the dragon um, if it's trying to yep. eat... Uh, uh, I'm going to pop your message, Silas. Bingo. Oh. Because it might uh, affect how I respond to the dragon rider before he goes back to his duties. Yeah, he's not taking off just yet. Okay, good. Bingo is paying people in socks. Yep, so he's a little he's late. And you have, though, he's got it's hundreds of socks. It's they a are gift. gifts to people that he likes. <laughs> Bingo, yep. but with socks. Yep. <laughs> I don't have any money, good sir, but I can pay you with exposure and socks. <laughs> oh. The dragon rider sort of takes the socks that you've offered and goes, thank you, child, but you best run. It's... There's a curfew in place. You need to be aboard your ship. <laughs> He'll just like pull out two of his. Can he pull out two of his largest grenades and be like, "It's okay, I'm covered." <laughs> the ride is going to simply nod and start Leave. to. With the grenades, do it! <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to pat the shoulder of his dragon. Um, and he'll look up towards oh, the wait, ship Emerald! itself. So, Ryder? The rider's going to look up in the direction of you, Silas, as you call that out. I uh, couldn't help but notice someone running over the wall, uh, the wall you were sitting on. Uh, Witcher Dragon, as soon as you left. So, you flew up, 
and then something ran across the wall into the richer district with a dagger. They were really fast. The rider looks to you and the dragon turns its head so that it's basically only a couple of meters away from you, Silas. I'm going to (laughs) smile. I am not doing anything wrong today. Yep. Besides start a, you know, (laughs) but I only Uh did that from behind the curtain. The second the dragon sniffs, it, it then turns and immediately launches itself, not even waiting for its rider to react. He barely holds on. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, is it attacking Silas? No, it heads off and literally does a flyby over the wall and then goes over the top of the um, wealthy district. So basically exactly what I just told him. So. Oh, w- wait, I didn't even have time to punch it. Says Lo. Sorry, man. Uh- Seda is staring at you, Bingo, with her mouth wide open of, like, you just rode a dragon. (laughs) (laughs) He'll just walk up to her all smug and be like, So, sis, have you ever ridden a dragon? She shakes her head and goes, Hadn't seen one up close until recently, so no. (laughs) These are the things that I can teach you as your older brother, see? (laughs) (laughs) She just sits down and then laughs and goes, Well, if you can get me on one of those things, I think I'll definitely appreciate that. (laughs) I I have a feeling that Bingo's whole looking like a child's stick is not going to work for the, you know, who are... (laughs) Massive lady with a, you know, big weapon on her back. All you guys are way too enamored with dragons. I mean, they're big and majestic and all, but... Jesus. They make fire and they fly! What is not to love? They are basically a sentient flamethrower that can also fly. I mean, I I would love to fight one. The manticores were pretty good to fight as well. I think a dragon would be a good challenge as well. Wait. When did no, you fight a manticore? Uh, not just a manticore. We fought 500? Something like that? Yeah, that a, lot. a couple of them. A lot. Yeah, let's say a lot of them. There, there, there was a mountain of manticore carcasses when we left. Uh, yeah. Ha. Huh. You'll have to tell me that story later. <laughs> So this just taps his bag, the, the bag of like infinite ammo, and he goes, I got this there. Oh, yeah. was that where Mog fought himself? Yes. Yeah. Ah. Uh, that's what was making, yeah. And then Mug turned the Silas into a very fine paste. <laughs> yeah. Deserved that bastard. <laughs> yeah, that bastard really did deserve it, Mug. Pat, pat. Yeah. <laughs> Ah. Bingo? Bertie isn't with you? No! Wait, wasn't Bertie with you when you left the tavern? No! You were there as well, right, Seda? Um, Is Bertie lost? Should we find her? Maybe she's returned to the lost and found. Lost and found? What's that? Weren't you seeing something about bloody trails everywhere? Yes, and also people going missing. Uh, maybe ah! we should go and find Verity. You know what? That sounds like a really good idea. I know where to start looking as well. Two options. Oh. Several things to click into place for Silas as he's like standing there thinking about those two options that he just started mentioning. Uh huh. So, wait, wait. as I was following the trail uh, after that like bloody mess without a body, uh huh. I climbed onto the roof because there were several roof tiles that had fallen, and this thing easily jumped over several buildings at a time. So uh-huh. he was going at quite a big speed. 
the thing hopping over the wall just now had a lot of speed as well. So we have two options. We can go and follow them back to the torch in the sewer that I found. Oh no. Or we can go into the rich district and follow, you know, where the dragon rider is as well, who might get angry at us for, you know, leaving the ship, breaking the curfew. Oh my god. What do you think that uh, would be the good idea? That's assuming that Verity was the one taken. Well, yes and also no, because they are out there hunting still. So eventually they might take Verity to where they take them. Oh, what? Or we can Go. stop them before Verity gets taken. The city is huge. Yes, it is. God. And and this thing can jump 15 meters at a time. It's really Yes, thank you. Mm, I am well aware of that. Oh, Verity isn't helpless. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go find her. And so I just slings mm -hmm. his rifle back over his uh, shoulder and he just starts making his oh. way to the gangplank. I oh, will oh, 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 go as well. Maybe we'll also find a little girl. Hmm. You don't have, like, a tracking system, do you, Haldir? Something tracking? Mm -hmm. Like, track verity by some means. No. I <sighs> cannot. Be very, ha very handy in this situation. But, uh... Storms aren't really... You know... Very good at tracking things. <laughs> 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 Solely just storm magic you have then. Great. <laughs> storm magic and a bit bit of the healing magics. Uh suppose it's better than nothing. Well I guess we don't have any choice but to go look then, do we? Oh for goodness sake, Verity, why did you break up? I'm not sure we're gonna find her in the middle of the night, but chasing Time after is the, precious. Chasing after the dragon, I guess, is the best best choice. Try and find mm. the culprit. She does like dragons, so mm. <laughs> Oh god. Easy Wisp, I'm sure she's fine. We'll find her. Okay, there's a potential monster on the list. She could be eaten by a dragon. There's a curfew. She's not Goodness gonna get. What else. She's not gonna get eaten by a dragon. Uh, can you confirm that 100%? Every oh, single dragon, dragon in the city will have a rider. She will not be eaten by a dragon. Hmm. Are there any younglings that don't have riders yet? Silas wonders out loud. <laughs> Okay, we're wasting time. Let's go! For goodness sake, why are you so sad in here? So Silas is already on the uh, on his way to the gangplank. <laughs> he's off. The, he's making his way off the ship. Uh, Noted. Well, let's let's go. <laughs> yes, Dean. Silas, is gonna, Silas is gonna look at the others one more time and go. So, do we want to follow Dragon into the rich district? Or do we want to, you know, split up from them? Assume that if they find Verity, they'll protect Verity because they have a fuck of dragon. <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, we'll just go raid that sewer base of them, uh, hoping to find hints of where they are going to strike next. Well, I, I feel like if so, if someone kidnaps Verity, I will beat them up. That that that's my. my yeah, that's a good it. idea. Yeah. I guess going for the sewer because, yeah, they have a dragon on their tail, so they're probably not gonna do anything tonight. So making sure that if they got Verity, we can save her, and if they don't, we're gonna make sure that they are not gonna get anyone else. Yeah, that seems like a good suggestion. Um, Glenn, quick mention, Silas is gonna bring his uh, helmet, which, you know, helps obscure his vision a bit. Yep. So, what I will get is a 
dexterity stealth roll from everybody who's making their way back into the... I oh, believe shit. you were heading towards the market district. Oh, shit. There's a dragon on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> well, there was. That was the one that flew off, if you remember. Oh, mm -hmm. that was that one. Okay. I, yep. I thought that one was on the edge to the rich district. Not it was sort of sitting between the two of them. Oh, okay. The other dragons are parked up around uh, the Hathad uh, and Shy ships. Glenn, can I add seeing to this? To the oh, wait, no, it's not seeing, it's dead. Uh, yeah, you, the do <laughs> you don't want to be adding seeing to this. <laughs> <laughs> um, in that case, that's uh, 14, 17 total. Yep. With four stun points, if I can use them. Uh, you... Pretty much the only thing I'd be using them on is advantageous positioning in case something happens. Yeah. And uh, the upper... Oh, wait. Maybe, can I maybe use it to get the focus? Yes, you can use... Yeah, there is that focus that lets you get the focus if you don't have stealth as a focus. Wait, which one is that? Uh, it is... Also, how many stun points does that cost? Because that's a weird one considering you know you need to succeed the role to be able to get stun points where is he i can't find it in my list of stuns i'm trying to remember which one it is uh resources at hand choose a focus you don't have that falls under the same ability as the test you're making Oh, okay. And you now consider to have that focus until the time or venue changes. Um, oh shit, a moment of, or two. That's dependent on how long that would be. If I were to take uh, the upper hand right now, would that still work at the sewer? Um, I would say so. Okay, in that case I'm going to take the upper hand. Or at least until you get to the sewer. So... Basically, from your ship through to the, um, and the market district, it would be okay. you're familiar with this layout now. You're kind of used to it. Okay, so it would help me with uh, because this is uh, the upper hand is not necessarily about uh, being familiar with where you go, but more being quick on responding to any threats. Yeah, but you would know where on the way you've gone, like where all the corners are and stuff. It would be a lot harder for you to ambush. Ah, I could take uh, less time paying attention to the route and more time paying attention to the enemies, basically. Yep. Okay. Because you you already know where you're going. Yep. So everyone uh, slips off the ship and quietly you make your way uh, up to the gates. Um, the two guards that you saw earlier, Bingo, are now in a thorough argument. Uh, they're not paying any attention to the gates anymore, and you all just slip slowly, one at a time, past them. You make your way through the now deserted streets of the markets, uh, Silas leading the way and seeming to know exactly which corners to uh, take and where to be looking. I'm taking them special op style with like a pistol, uh, a, a, hand, a pistol that I point, point at the ground. And just like the pistol goes first and I'm pretty much every corner. Yep. <laughs> so in very short order, you make your way up alleyways and around corners. Uh, Silas even takes you through a open shed um, and then takes you up to a section of the wall where even though it's now quite dark, you can clearly see the grate in the moonlight. It is badly damaged. Um, Silas, now on closer inspection, yes. it looks like these bars have been twisted and bent and pulled. I'm going to look at the others and just whisper, so the thing is not only quick, it's also strong as fuck. Fantastic. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Sorry, Wisp, we'll just have to kill it. Not very. What, what, what are we going to 
not Verity, the thing that might possibly catch Verity. You know, the, the strong, quick one that we're going to murder uh -huh. so that it doesn't take Verity. Why would I be sad about that? Well, I can you, you are the one who has basically been annoyed whenever I proposed killing so something. People. I think currently me, actually. This looked like a people. It looks like a people? Well, it, it had a, a, basically a bingo shape, but with more black cloak and, uh, cloak and more dagger. And also more speed. And apparently more strength. Basically, okay. it's a Superman version of bingo. What? <laughs> Super bingo? Yep. <laughs> Well, Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> let's, what? Happened? Uh... what? <laughs> so let, let, let's let's go down and see what we find, eh? Silas is yeah, I don't get bingo. this plan. Bingo, Silas is explaining that this monster thing is a similar size to you, and the main differences are it had a dagger, it's quick, it's apparently fuck up strong, and it can jump 15 meters at a time. Do that. I could do that if I really tried. You get a chance to prove it in the cross-country race that Haldir and Wisp are having. Hey! Hey! <laughs> How can you just think about a race at this point? Let's find Verity! Well, Come on! I know that there's a lot of blood around the corner, yeah. so I'm trying to okay. postpone it. There's too get much discussion. That's Let's what just... Bing was for! Yeah, M Mug is going ahead. Somewhere he doesn't okay. know where. Great. Bingo, do your job and help Idrik. I'm going along with Mug. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Mug and Wisp go in first. Haldir closely behind. Haldir was sleeping. I behind. have my crossbow drawn. Yep. Is gonna Mug scoop doesn't up... know where he's going. He's just going. Silas is going to scoop up Bingo and just place him on uh, on his neck, and then go. Can you help me with this? Yes. Awesome. And then I switch out the pistol that I had held in my hand all this time. I'm going to switch it back into its holster and then I'm going to pull out my rifle because obviously overkill is underrated. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yes. So you slip on into the tunnels. It's quite dark in there. So I will just double check if everyone has dark sight. And I think you currently do. Yeah. Plus yep. So, your yes. vision, uh, it's not pitch black. You can make out the shapes in there. It's almost like a, for visual, it would be almost like a black and white picture. You see the narrow tunnel and what looks like a dry um, sewer um, drain that runs along the length of it. Uh, heading along you will come across to the patch of blood that was first seen by um, Silas. Um, it's a couple of droplets uh, of blood that seemed almost, it looks almost like it was flicked. Um, and be further beyond that, you see a couple of footprints. Following these, you get led out into a part where a much larger sewer um, uh, tunnel is where. That's what I saw the torch, right? Uh, yep, you saw the torch at the far end of this one. Okay, I'm gonna use my scope to uh, scope out the place. Yep. So the tunnel is quite wide. Uh, you kind of feel as you've gone down that the it's sort of sloped down beneath the city, and this may be one of the main sewers. The tunnel is quite long and exceptionally badly lit especially at night you do see a couple of patches where moonlight seems to be shining through now using your scope you don't see any movement at all in the dark you also don't hear anything except for a 
very slow trickle of water uh, from the very foul-smelling uh, wastewater that is flowing past you. I'm going to pinch my nose and just put my rifle away for a bit. And then I'm going to try and carefully, carefully make my way closer there uh, in such a way that I step in as little shit as possible. Yep. Um, you do note that the way this place has been designed is that there is uh, two stone paths that are raised above the sewage that run along the length and it doesn't take long for you to find an interval where a bridge crosses to the other side and from there you can actually see the next bridge that's like another uh, 30 yards down um, likewise at a cut intervals along each side there is the occasional tunnel that branches off some of them have sewage coming out of them others appear to be almost just walkways okay this is really not the glorious place to be get quickly through <laughs> since when do we do glory since when did we do sewers? Every city we come into. That's basically started happening since you're here, so I'm just gonna blame you. <laughs> That's not a lie. Sewers are fun <laughs> and underrated, and they often have a hidden treasure. Like that! Oh wait, no, not that. Definitely not that, but, but something! <laughs> S Silas is gonna smile slightly and just say, Before you joined, all we did was blow up an ambassador's house or, and the tavern every now and then. Now we're crawling through shit. Well, you're the captain. You'll lead. <laughs> yeah, and, and there better be a fight at the end. Sil Silas just smiles and start make starts making his way again. Yep. So, can I get perception hearing from all of you? <laughs> oh, from everyone. Yep, from everyone in the tunnel. Well, oh, you don't get any stunts for per uh, perception, do you? Ten, twelve, uh, unless you get doubles or something, there. Ah, uh, you can use some stunts. Sixteen total with five stun points, if. Uh... If you want to use them, yep. Ooh, can I use another upper hand and like refresh that one? Yes, you can. Okay, then I want to do that and advantageous positioning. Noted. Just remind me if anything starts while you're in these tunnels. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so bingo, find some food. Uh... <laughs> Sewer slugs. So, what I'm going to say is Wisp and Haldia, you very, very faintly hear what seems to be crying at coming from echoing down the tunnels. You have a general idea of where it is coming from, so it's up ahead past where Silas is. Silas, you're aware that it's coming from roughly where you saw the torchlight earlier, or at least potentially coming from a tunnel near there. Um, Silas, you also hear um, at least one phrase amongst the crying, which yep. sounds an awful lot like, please let me go. Okay. Uh, Mug here on air with this. Uh, Mug and Bingo, no, you don't actually hear anything over the just trickling of foul water. I'm gonna pull out my rifle and just whisper to Bingo. Did you hear that? What? 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 There's. The, this is whispered to Bingo. I'm not sure if Mug would hear it. Is um, Mug near Silas? It would carry enough to most people in your party. Okay, in that case. Um, so, I heard crying, and then I heard someone sobbing about, please let me go, 
So that means that there's at least someone here. But quick question. Did they sound like Verity? Nope. They did not sound like Verity. But we Oh, it must be the little girl. Them. Yeah, I'm going in saving her. He showed Smug and charges ahead. <laughs> Noted. Well, there goes anything against stealth. No, it makes it easier for us. We are now less easy to find because there's a distraction there. <laughs> that was not planned, but you know what? Maybe it worked. <laughs> And I just fell on, but like in a as quick as possible. <laughs> so, running along, uh, Mug, I'm gonna say, will easily take the re uh, lead since stealth has gone out the window. Yeah. So, Mug, as you. Uh, thunder along the corridors uh you do eventually hear the crying uh and on top of that as you approach you also hear a cackling laugh which then goes Mark silent takes out his pistol yep and then a hissing noise uh, echoes down. The rest of you will also hear this, followed by a shout of We have company. Oh. oh damn it. <laughs> Does Mug see anyone yet? Uh, Mug, you will see the first person to step out and around the corner. <laughs> uh, can... Yeah. They, they can both scream and talk. Yep. Uh, so, what I'll say do you is... Perception or, or how do they look? Um, I will describe them. How are we going for time for people to... Um, I can do about half an hour to three quarters at most. Okay. Everyone else Mark. roughly around the same? Uh, yeah. f 15 minutes. 15? Yep, that's fine. Like that. So what I will actually do is I'll describe um, what happens next. Um, and then I will stop it there before any fighting actually occurs. Silas, I will say, take a note because you're going to get those bonuses on initiative when it kicks off. Okay, shall I pin a message with that? Yeah. So the first thing that you'll see is, uh, so bingo, uh, you're on Silas's shoulders still, are you? Yeah. Right. So you're going to be able to see overheads. Um, the rest of you have been sort of keeping to the shadows, um, but still following Mug. You will see a black-clad figure step out around the corner and draw a sword. Uh, Mug is uh, shooting them. Mug, uh, despite the fact that they're wearing a cloak and um, a sort of half mask across their face uh, and leather armor, the you see the eyes of this creature and you recognize them as being very familiar to someone or something you fought before it's a vampire isn't it yep this one yeah, has my, my... <laughs> elven ears that idea for a while <laughs> it has elven ears it looks to uh be uh as far as you can tell a formerly young elven man but it has the same eyes as the vampires you fought on the ship although each one of those that you fought before have been human <coughs> uh, yeah yeah so but yeah so so just noted it down for next one next yep session the mug is immediately shooting so he's charging and shooting as soon as he sees the vampire yep no questions asked <laughs> No problem. Shoot! He's he, he <laughs> saving the little girl. So, we will stop there for the night, and we will kick off next session with you running headlong into the vampires. Nice. <laughs> <laughs>
Because you haven't kicked off enough shit and poured already. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> hey, at, le at least we get to murder vampires. <laughs> yes, you are. Um, so I'll get a yo-ho from you all. I'll stop the recording. Yo-ho! 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 Yo